Hello, everybody. Coach Luis here, health fitness specialist with Exos at Autodesk. Welcome to my Tuesday class. It is abs and core. Time to get rock solid through the midsection. Let's get right into it here today. So what we're going to be doing today, guys, EMOM style workout for most of it. We're going to start with four intervals for four rounds, giving us about 16 minutes. And then we're going to end on a two minute AMRAP. Now AMRAP stands for as many reps as possible. I'll get to I'll, I'll go over the movement that we're going to be doing in that AMRAP towards the end here, but I'm going to start out with our, our main thing this evening or today, I should say, which is four intervals, four rounds. We're going to be starting with a side plank. A few options here with the side plank, you guys. Well, number one, we want to be on that elbow. So elbow, we can have the knees bent and be up from the knees, or we can have the feet out nice and straight straight. So again, this is the first thing that we're going to be getting into today. A couple options. We can be knees or feet. Now, whether your knees or feet, I'm going to have everyone reaching up for the ceiling or sky with that off arm today. It's going to help us kind of build a little bit more stability through that joint, call on the core to work a little bit harder. So first interval, we're going to be doing right side with that side plank, and then we'll switch it over to the left for that second interval. So two more intervals left. We're, we're going to be on our backs for the next one, doing some leg flutters or scissor kicks, as, as some know them as. But this is basically lower half, that hollow position that we've been working on. So you guys know this thing, what we're going to be doing, no arms. Arms will be relaxed, but we're going to have legs straight out, back is glued to the ground. Legs scissoring back and forth here, keeping them nice and straight, using that core, gluing the back to the ground here. Finally, we're going to bring in some new movement with a familiar position. So you guys have done before the primal press, which hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. We push down through the toes, elevate the knees. We're really solid through this core position. But today, we want to have a little bit of space on one side at least because we're going to take a nice little step to the right or left with that arm or hand, arm and hand and then step back into the middle. So it's gonna be a little bit more dynamic today. We're gonna to really have to keep that core tight. Might be new territory for some of us, but it'll be nice and fun. Great way to get those hips and shoulders dynamically involved in that primal press. So we'll be going back and forth, just a couple steps there, nothing crazy. Again, four intervals for four rounds and the intervals that we're gonna be working on are 40 seconds of work and 20 seconds of rest. So that's gonna stay constant throughout the entire workout except for our AMRAP at the end. So like I mentioned before, two minutes at the end, we're gonna go all out as many reps as we can do. And that is going to be with some crunches. So <clears throat> the key here is to try and keep those feet glued. We wanna avoid all types of compensation. So that means no yanking on the head with the hands. You know, We wanna have the hands free if possible. We also don't wanna be just throwing our arms forward in order to get us up. The point is to not get ourselves all the way up, but just to use these muscles here in front as much as possible and to isolate them. So with the feet glued to the ground, what we're gonna try and do is peel most of our back up off the ground and then come all the way back down. So a strong exhale will usually help. My um, kind of point of reference, I like to try and be able to try and look over my knees here. Again, that's just a personal thing, give it a try. If you're already over that, great. If not, something to work towards. All right, you guys. So that is going to be our workout here today. <sighs> Getting a little out of breath here. I also had the hiccups before this class. All right. What we're going to do now is get into our warm up specifically. So before we get started with that, make sure you guys got some ample space. Again, we are going to be doing a little sideways work here today. So if that means clearing out a little bit of extra space, go ahead and do that now and make sure you guys got the water with you. Again, hydration is always extremely important summer months, even if it's not a super hot day here in the Bay Area. All right, let's come down to the ground. We're gonna be on our backs. Let's lock in, warm up, and awaken some of those muscles here in the midsection that we're gonna be using later. One of our classic warmups. Let's take a nice deep breath. As we exhale out all of that air, push it all out. So the very last little ounce of air, keep that tension in the midsection. 
Let's bring those legs up, bent at the knees. We're just gonna move from the hips, tapping one heel on the ground at a time. <sighs> Breathing as we go. Remember exhales will help us, reinforce us to squeeze the proper musculature around that midsection. <sighs> Good job, you guys. Good job. Remember low back is glued to the ground. This is exactly how we want it to feel as we're gonna do those scissor kicks or flutter kicks later on. All right, let's relax those legs. Good job. Relax the midsection for a second. We're gonna flip on over into our hands and knees. So because we got a kind of dynamic version of the primal press going here today, we're gonna to warm up with just some static primal press. Let's put those hands under the shoulders. We got the knees under the hips, maybe even a little further forward. Curl those toes up under. We're gonna push down through the toes and the hands simultaneously, bringing those knees an inch or two up off the ground. Back is nice and flat. Quick staring contest with the ground. Few breaths. <sighs> Trying to warm the shoulders up here, guys. Remember, as we move later on, we want to be pushing away from the ground the whole time. So get used to that. Push away from the ground. <sighs> and then we can relax after that next exhale. Well done, guys. Well done. Okay. Warm up in the books. While we're all nice and warm, make sure you guys got your space. Got the water. I'm gonna set up the timer here and we will get right into this workout. So again, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. That's gonna stay constant. Four rounds is gonna give us about 16 minutes. We'll rest for 20 seconds and then get right into our two minutes, as many reps as possible on those crunches. All right, you guys, timer is set. Let's get ready to go. Three, two, one, starting with that side plank. So remember, knees or feet, both acceptable here. Either way, we wanna keep it nice and straight, head to wherever we're in contact with the ground. And then the final piece today, reaching up towards the ceiling or sky. Good job, you guys, good job. Think about that alignment in between our shoulders here, where we're contacting the ground with the elbow. We wanna have the hand pretty much in the same position up overhead here. Strong exhales, we're almost done. Good work, everybody. Challenge yourself a little bit here today. And time, slowly bring those hips down. Nicely done, we're switching over to the left side. Still got a good amount of rest here, guys. Make sure the setup is good. All right, a little bit less work on these intervals, guys. So let's push ourselves a little bit more than we would. Three, two, one, same thing, other side. So if you're usually on those knees, feeling pretty confident today, try out the feet, see how that feels. Just a slightly longer lever arm. I'm sure the obliques and the core can handle it. You guys are pretty seasoned in this class. Remember strong exhales, let's keep it here as well as in the side. Keep that tension, we're still reaching up for the ceiling or sky, pushing away from the ground with that left shoulder. Good job, guys, good job. Strong start here, let's keep it going. And time, all right, slowly lower those hips back down. Great work, you guys, great work. Okay, flutter kicks or the scissor kicks coming up next. I gotta decide on what I really wanna call that. But for now, we're on our backs. Think back to our warm up. Low back's gotta stay glued the entire time. And if that means a higher hip angle, that's okay. All right, here we go, three two, one, find that good angle for you. We want it to be sustainable, guys. We wanna be able to do this for four rounds. So don't go for broke here on this first round. Let's keep those legs nice and straight. Little movements here, controlling those legs back and forth. This used to be one of my least favorite things to do as a soccer athlete, as a young kid, hated these. Yet here we are. All right, guys, time, relax. Good job. Deep breath or two. Let's come all the way onto our hands and knees. Let's get ready. So either to your left or your right, we're just taking one step with that hand and one step with the foot, solidifying our position and coming back to the middle. We're gonna start here in three, two, one, 
All right, let's get those knees up. Find that good position first. Step with the hand, then the foot, and then we're coming over. Take a moment, you guys, and reset yourself in that good form position right after we move. We don't want to be moving so much that we can't activate the muscles properly. We don't feel what we really want to feel. Just one step to the side, one step back to the middle. Great work, guys. A few seconds left. Let's keep working. Push away from that ground. And time. Let those knees down. Good job, you guys. Shake out those arms. Great work. Okay, we are back to our side plank on the right side. Coming up next, 10 more seconds of rest. Take a deep breath. Grab some water. We're going in three, two, one. All right, right elbow in the ground. Let's get ourselves into that good side plank position. Core is tight, that opposite arm reaching for the sky. Big, strong exhales, you guys. Either way, we got the legs stacked or the feet stacked. Even if you're in that longer position with the body, stack those feet. Make it kind of a stability challenge for this right shoulder. Great job, you guys, great job. We are almost done. Feel that oblique and time. Let those hips down nice and slow, nice and controlled. There we go, well done, well done. Okay, second time around for the side plank on the left. Let's get prepared. Five more seconds of rest. We're starting in three, two, one. All right, there we go. Find that good position, then we can start to reach with that opposite arm. Well done, guys, well done. Nice straight line, remember head to knees, head to toes. Nice straight line. Push away from that ground with that left shoulder. Great work, you guys, great work. Remember, keep it in the side and also in the front too. Keep that tension through the entire thing of it, a big, big belt of muscles around this midsection here. And relax. Good job, good job. All right, guys, we are back onto our backs. Flutter kicks coming up next. Remember, someone, i.e. me, I'm imaginary version of myself, I'm right there trying to Pull a towel out from under your low back. Don't let me get that towel during this one. All right, here we go. Get those legs up, get them straight. Find a spot where you're still crushing that towel. And then let's move those hips. See how low you can go while still crushing that towel. Don't let that back come up. Great job, you guys. Don't push down into the ground with those palms, that's cheating. Do your best, exhale hard. You can relax with those palms up if you want. Almost done, five seconds. And time. Great work, everybody, great work. Hips are feeling tired. Let's go ahead and find our way. Hands and knees, you guys. Good job. All right, step into the side, stepping back into the middle here with our primal press. Here we go, let's get into it. Let's get those knees up first. We're gonna step, right hand, right foot, left hand, left foot. Definitely tough to get the coordination down at first, that's okay. We're taking it nice and slow. Just supporting ourselves through those shoulders, through those hips. Good. Great work, everybody, great work. One step to the side, one step back to the middle. Doesn't matter how far we're going. Doesn't matter which way, if it's the left or the right. It's dynamic plank here. All right, and time. Well done, you guys, well done. All right, we are through two out of four rounds. Let's get ready to close it out. Side plank on that right side, here we go. We're starting in three, two, one, 
All right. Find that good starting position. Let's get those hips up. And then we can really reach for the sky with that opposite arm. Good job, you guys. Good job. Remember, find what's comfortable for you. It's always okay to take a little break for water or a breather, but then we're right back into it. Push away from that ground. Good job, you guys. Good job. Tough one on the shoulders here today. And time. Let those hips down nice and slow. Great work, you guys. Great work. All right. Left side coming up. 10 more seconds of rest. All right, you guys, let's get ready to go. Three, two, one. Let's get those hips up. Core is tight. We're pushing away from that ground. Great work, guys. Great work. Don't get lazy with that head. Don't let that head hang. Nice and straight. Keep it in line with the rest of the spine here. Excellent job, you guys. Excellent job. Almost done. Come on, push it a little bit harder, guys. 40 seconds. And time. Nicely done, nicely done. All right, we're on our backs next. Leg flutter, or leg, yeah, flutter kicks coming up next, you guys. Remember, get yourself into a position where I can't pull your mat or your towel out from under that low back. All right, here we go. Let's find that position. Legs are straight. We're starting to flutter. Good job, keeping them nice and straight. Don't bend those knees. It's gonna make a little bit more work for those hips and that core. We don't want that. Legs nice and straight, toes up. Act like I'm trying to pull that towel out. Don't let me get that towel, it's a battle. Great work, everybody, great work, come on. Almost done. And time. Great job, everybody, great job. Almost done with round three here. I am definitely more tired than I thought I would be, but we're still gonna push anyway. We got about 10 more seconds, you guys. Let's set up dynamic primal press plank here. We're gonna go in three, two, one. Let's plant those hands, get those knees up. Maybe we're still trying to figure out the best way to step to one side if that's moving one limb at a time or both. Good job, you guys. Remember, just push away from that ground. The core is tight. We don't want to round the back though, so be careful. Make sure you're not rounding the back up to make it look like a mountain or a hill. We're almost done here, guys. A few more seconds. Let's battle it out. And time. Rest those knees. Good job, you guys. Good job. Okay, just like that, we are through three rounds. We got one round to go. And after our 20 second rest, at the end of this round, we're gonna jump right into two minutes of crunches. All right, let's get started. Right side plank, here we go. We're starting here in three, two, one. All right, now we got those hips up. Last time we're doing the side plank, let's reach. Reach for the sky here. Remember, shoulders are not up near the ears, you guys. Nice straight line, head to knees, head to toes. Nice strong exhales. Good job, guys. Good job. Let's keep pushing. A few more seconds left. That's all we got, at least for this side. Last time, this right side plank. And time. Well done. Rest those hips. Other side coming up next. Solid workout here today, guys. Let's keep that energy nice and high. We've got two minutes of crunches here at the end. We're gonna start on our left side here, last side plank. In three, two, 
One, all right. All the way extended, push away from that ground. Good job, you guys, good job. Reaching up for that sky. Good, good. Way to battle here, you guys. Uncomfortable positions, I know. Good, we're only getting better here today though. Strong exhales, let's go guys, let's finish strong. We're almost there, almost done with this left side plank. And time. Well done everybody, well done. All right guys, we're on our backs up next. Last time we're gonna do the flutter kicks for these legs. Couple deep breaths. Let's find that position here in three, two, one. All right. Low back is crushing that towel. Legs are nice and straight. Back and forth here, control that movement. That's half the challenge here for the core. Good job, you guys. Keep that back on the ground. Don't let any part of that back come up. I'm right there trying to pull that towel. Strong exhales, we almost got it. Good, here we go, last few seconds and time. Way to get through the end there with me guys, all right. Hands and knees for this last one. I shouldn't say last one. Last time we're gonna do this primal press dynamic version. Starting here in three, two, one. All right, let's get those knees up. Nice controlled step. I've been finding it easier to bring one hand close to the other and then move that lateral hand way out to the side that I'm stepping. Again, we're pushing away from the ground, core is tight, back is nice and flat. Toes are also providing some pressure through the ground. Ground is the enemy here, it's hot lava. We wanna keep those knees away from it. We're gonna push ourselves away the whole time. We got a few seconds left. Here we go, you guys, here we go. And time, great work. All right, so short rest here, you guys. We're gonna be on our back. Two minutes worth of crunches coming up. We wanna end with a nice burn here. We wanna be able to manage ourselves for this whole two minutes. So maybe it's a little rest breaks in between. Let's try and link up three to five at a time. All right, here we go. Final home stretch here, crunches. What I like to imagine is having something under the low back like a water balloon. Every time I come up, that low back is gonna push into the ground before maybe peeling off. I'm gonna crush that water balloon using my core muscles. Remember, strong exhales will help. Give yourselves little points of reference. Try and make every rep look the same here, you guys. Keep those feet down. Feet are like magnets in the floor here. Good job, I know it's probably starting to burn by now. Everyone's doing great. Good job. We're one minute in, we got one minute to go. Maybe take a little breather real quick, but then let's jump right back into it. It's okay if you're not coming up too far, just think about peeling as much back as you can up off the ground here using those core muscles. Nothing else is helping. Lower body stationary, arms not contributing, let's go. Great job, guys. Thirty seconds left. Final frame here. Good job, you guys. Good job. Think about crushing something under that low back. We're almost done here. Under ten seconds. Let's see a few more. Here we go.
and time. Good job, you guys. Good job. Let's pause, rest here for a moment. We got a few minutes left of class here. Go ahead, stand it up. <sighs> Move around a little bit if you need to. If you want to just lay still, that's cool. <sighs> Good job, you guys. Man, I did not think this one was going to be this warm here today. I was wrong. <sighs> that's okay. Thanks for staying with me. Way to work hard there. Okay. Final part of the workout here today, guys. As of always, it is the cool down. Let's come into our space, hands and knees. What we're going to do is a little child's pose. We're going to spread those knees apart. And before we sink those hips back, let's walk our hands way over to one side. So I'm going to start with my left side here. Hands are walked out over here to the left of my body. What I'm going to do is sink my hips back now. <sighs> Find a comfortable position to bring my hands into for the head. Feel free to rest your face, chin, or cheek on the ground. Right now, we should have kind of one side that's a little more open. So if your hands were on the left, that right side is open. Let's breathe into that right side. Open up those obliques, those lats. Nice deep breaths, you guys. Slowly lengthening out those exhales. So a slight transition here from the forceful exhale. Trying to lengthen out those exhales. No need for the hard squeeze that was once necessary earlier in this session. Let's do one more large breath. Good. And after that nice long exhale, let's rise, bring the hips up. We can. Shift the hands all the way over to the other side. Knees stay where they are. Sink the hips back towards the heels. Now we're opened up on that opposite side. For me, it's that left side. And now we can just breathe into that tissue as well. Really stretch it out. <sighs> Trying to blow up the entire rib cage like a big balloon here, you guys. Nicely done. Let's do two more breaths. After that second breath, let's rise, put a little more weight into the hands. And from here, let's come into a quick half kneeling position. We're just going to do a quick dynamic stretch here, guys. So one knee down on the ground, the other foot out in front. We're going to push the hips forward, squeeze the glute, find some stretch, and then come back out of it. So dynamic stretch here. We're not going to spend too much time in that actual stretching, with that stretching feeling going on. We're just going to kind of go in and out. Another great way to loosen up tissue. A lot of people do this as well. Be in the kind of warm up or before a workout. Really effective there as well. We just want to kind of cool down, go in and out of this stretch. It's going to be the last time. Let's switch it over to the other side. So opposite knee down. <sighs> Same deal. Coming forward with that hip, squeezing that glute, and coming back out of it. Gives us a moment or two to kind of find where that stretch is for us on that side. <sighs> Good. Let's do a couple more. Good job, you guys, good job. I know you guys know all about the classes we have going on, but don't forget that there is a blood drive going on. Registration uh, is open all the way through the end of June the 30th. And then we also have this really cool step challenge coming up. Great opportunity to team up with someone you know, and we'll also pair you with people you don't know in order to make teams of four. Awesome competition for a step challenge. It is a free challenge. It's going to be going on July 12th through August 8th. So look out for more information coming up on that. Going to be super fun. Looking forward to that. I want to thank you guys for joining me here today. As always, Coach Luis signing off. I will catch you guys in the next class. Hope everyone has a great rest of your day. Good job, you guys. Way to stick with me there.